Alright, this chain isn't that bad, but I can give you an idea of what you need to do. So, say your top plate's all buggered up here, and uh, you want to get it all straightened out again. You want to start out with brand new file, that's for darn sure, because you're going to want to re remove a lot of material fast. But uh, I'll start with the gullet right away. File that gullet out. You can see here, the gullet's gone. That one still has one yet. I've never filed this chain before. This is just on a part saw. So now that the gullet's out, I'm gonna come up to, I don't know, about a five degree angle. Every chain's different, depending on brands and pitch and blah, 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 but uh, you gotta you gotta have your file at an angle here. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the underside of this top plate sharp all the way across. It's not just about the point here being sharp, it's about this underside of the top plate being sharp, too. So you'll work across like that. Kind of just gently pulling towards you and very gently upwards a little bit so that you can put pressure on the underside of this to get this sharp. And then once that's sharp, now because you've brought this back, you need to get the rest of this gullet out again. So I'll, instead of putting pressure on this top plate, I'll just put straight downwards pressure on here and open this baby up. And you can see how open that is. And that cutter is going to cut like no other. As long as you got your rakers filed down anyhow. Now same thing with this one here. Well. out of it go it's gone that one still has one yet now we'll work for the top plate Slightly downwards angle. I'm gonna keep working it back until it's straight all the way across there. Even though that tooth is boogered, you'll be able to work it back until it's straight across there. You might have to work it back quite a ways. And then you'll have to get your throw it back out again. Just by filing downwards by putting the downward pressure on your file so that you keep that going always open just like that do it again here gullets so, out Top plate. You'll know if you're doing it right because you'll feel it. It'll just glide right across it nice and smooth. You'll feel it remove material the whole time. Another thing you can do when your cutter's shot, 
have on your file like this here. File across it to get your angle. Just like that. Just kind of drag it towards you as you go. You'll be able to straighten that out. And then you can do your top plate to get your angle. And then you'll have to work your gullet. And you'll have to straighten that back out again. It's a lot of work per each tooth and it gets tedious, but it is what it is if you want to keep these chains sharp. Always tap your file out every so often to keep the chips cleared. Another thing you can do too, if it's all buggered up, is run your file at an angle crossways like this here across your tooth also and that'll get you an edge it'll get you to your direction you want to be also you see it's pretty well where I want it to be and I'll get my it out Alright, go it's out. And work it back towards the top plate. Just like that. All your cutters to look like that on the other side. Nice open seas. I got this side to do. Sounds awkward here. There we go. Go it out. Gullets out, keep your tip down at about a 5 degree angle figure, just work it across that top plate. And it's not all about this tip being sharp, like I say, it's this whole top plate's got to be sharp all the way across underneath it, can't be blunt. Gull it down. Five degree angle. Just like that. So this one's bad. You can take and go like this here. File across it. Get your angle. See how the angle's there? And get your bullet out. Work it back. This file's getting bad. There it is, nice sharp cutter. So Basically, if you have any other questions, go ahead and holler at me and try and walk you through it. Thanks for watching.